Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial we create a switch puzzle. I show it to you how to make it with one switch and also how to do it with more switches. So here we go. First of all we create a new event and choose the door graphic. Copy and paste the page. On the second page we select switch and name the switch door. Then we change the graphic to none. We teleport our hero to the second map. That was all we have to do for the door. Now it's time for the switch. Create a new event and choose the graphic for the switch. Now we set a movement route. Turn left, right and up. Between the turns we add 10 frames weight. And in the beginning we add a sound effect. For the switch we change also in the drop down menu from the player to this event. After that we add again a sound effect for the door. We copy our movement route and the only thing we have to do is to change from this event to the door event. We change the switch to on and also self switch A to on. Copy and paste the page. We delete now everything in page 2 and we select self switch A in the conditions. We change also the graphic from the switch, choose from the same switch the last sprite. Now we can do a playtest and see if it works. We activate the switch and we see that the door opens. Everything looks good. But what if we want more switches for open one door? For example if the player have to activate 4 switches before the door opens. Let's edit our switch. After the first movement route we change a variable, I name it also door. We set operation to add and operand to one. So every time we use a switch the variable door will be plus one. After that we need a conditional branch. Select here the variable door and set it to 4. Because in this example we will create 4 switches. If you want more or less change this variable to whatever you need. Now we select the sound effect and the movement route of the door. Cut and paste it in the conditional branch. The only thing we have to do now is copy and paste this event 3 times so that we have 4 switches. And that was all. We see now if we use all 4 switches the door will open. This was everything for this tutorial. I hope you understand everything. Give me a thumb up if you want to see more tutorials or comment this tutorial if you have any idea what I can do in the next video.